Doing this a forgotten classic, the exhibition Times of Change Women in Confectionery is all about the women who worked in the confectionery industry and also marketing that was done towards them. Now, one of the items we received was quite unusual, and it was unusual because we hadn't heard of the brand. It was a mirror that I've not got with me because it's in the exhibition that was branded with Terry's Nutcracker. And we didn't know what Terry's Nutcracker was. We found a video or an advert online and a picture of a wrapper, one picture, but we had no idea what it was. We've done a bit of digging over the past nine months. That's how long it's taken us to find anything. And we were very generously given some paraphernalia to do with the product. Originally, this product was made using a process called book molding, which can be a bit tricky. You take two half molds, create half a shell in each one. You'll fill one of them with whatever the filling is. In this case, it was a kind of a hazelnutty caramel and you stick them together. Now, unfortunately, whenever they made them in this way, the hazelnutty caramel would leak or it would melt the chocolate. So what they started doing is creating these little half molds that would look like half a nutshell and the back would be flat. And it was a much easier way, a much more straightforward way of actually creating the product. Now, we believe that this product was in existence officially until 1993, when it would have been completely stopped. Although, I wouldn't be surprised to discover that manufacture stopped quite a few years before that. One thing that we're really, really fascinated by, and it is the original cast that the original mold was made out of. And we've got it right here. Now, it's in, it's in fairly good nick. It's just fascinating to find something so rare something that's got such history behind it and something so unique to York that very few people have heard of. We really like the sound of the product. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to raise awareness for this forgotten classic so hopefully one day it'll be remembered alongside many of the other famous chocolates that have been made in York.